Have you ever thought, oh man, this Spotify client really looks kind of boring and on top of that it also has a ton of ads? What if I tell you that there is a very simple solution to all of these violations by Spotify? Let me introduce to you Spicetify, which is a very simple customization tool for Spotify client available on Windows, Linux and even Mac OS. And now let me show you how to install it. To install Spicetify client on your computer, first you will need to have Spotify client installed on your computer because Spicetify will not work if you, for example, play music from your web browser. So either you can go to spotify.com slash US slash download slash Windows and you will be able to download the Spotify client from Spotify website directly. And if you are, for example, on Linux and on macOS, you can also download all these clients from their website as well. Now, once you have it installed and you are logged in inside your account, on Spotify client, of course, you will navigate to this link, which I will also put in the video description down below. So you can right now pause the video and click on the link in the video description. And once on this page, you will click here on install now. And here we have a few of the guides of how to actually install the Spotify client on our computer. There are two different methods. One is for Windows and the other is universal for the Linux as well as for the Mac OS. Now, the first one, which I am going to use right now is for the Windows. So make sure that you hover your mouse over this string or this command, and then you will copy it by clicking on this button right here. And now you can go to the start menu and search for the PowerShell. I highly recommend that you actually install Spotify client from the Spotify website directly, which I will also put a link for it in the video description down below. So if you are watching this video right now, then you can just pause the video and go to the video description and click on this exact link. Now, once on this website, you can just click on download directly from Spotify and you will basically get the installer for the Spotify client. Now we can successfully close the Spotify client and go straight to the spicetify.app website. And on top of that, you can also copy this simple command, which will actually install the Spicetify client on our computer. So here you will search for the PowerShell and you will click on it and you will paste this command inside like so. And right now you can see that it's downloading Spicetify version 2.36.8 and it's also installing it. And I can also see here that I have a question. Do you want to install Spicetify Marketplace, which I will also press on Y and click on enter. And right now it should download and install the marketplace as well. So we will not need to actually run this command separately inside our PowerShell. So this is very, very convenient. And right now it's actually installing this exact marketplace on our computer. So once this is successfully finished, so installation is successfully finished, you will see that you have here the Spotify client open. Now, the most important part here is actually right here, the marketplace. And now we have here extensions, themes, snippets, apps. Here, I will go straight here to the a few of the options which are quite useful from the Spicetify marketplace. And you can just then go to the themes and we will try to install the comfy theme and click on the installed here. And you can see here that we need to reload our client once again. So I will click on reload. And right now the client should appear successfully. You can find, for example, broken themes and the themes which work very, very nicely with this latest Spotify client. And let's also install this one, which is called Bloom. It has like really nice uh, blur effect with fluent design inspired by Windows 11. So we can also try this one out as well. So what I will do here on top, I will click on the install, click on reload now. And let's take a look how it actually right now looks like. You can see that here we have this really, really nice UI and it really nicely complements the Windows 11 aesthetics. So we can also go here, for example, to the extensions tab on top of the Spicetify marketplace. And here we have, for example, beautiful full screen, which we can also install. So I will show you how this looks later. I will just install a few of the extensions, which I find quite useful. And this is also another one, which is called 
Lyrics Plus. Then we also have also many others as well. I will just go on top of that here and I will also install this one, which is called Immersive View. So apparently this extension will give us a toggle button next to our user profile and it will remove unnecessary sidebars and also the clutter. So I will install this one right now. I think that this Spicedify Marketplace, if you install the Spicedify, it will remove all of the ads from your Spotify client. Now let's go to the actual snippets. So here you can see that you can modify parts of the Spotify clients itself by installing a few of the snippets. For example, here we have the first one, which I will just install. We also can enable rounded images, which I will also install. And then we have many others as well. Let's go to the apps here. So for example, you can download the statistics. You can also download the extended music library with additional features nonetheless. So for example, I will just download this one right here, but we will need to actually install it from another source. So we will need to go to the Spicify config directory from the terminal. So to find that, we guys can go here to the getting started. We can go here to the FAQ and you can see here that we have here the path and then you can just go here open the file explorer and paste this inside and if you don't want to open the file you can just go to the spicedify folder and you can see here that you will find custom apps inside here now inside here you will basically create a folder called ncs visualizer so you will need to just copy this go inside the file explorer inside the custom apps you will click here new click on folder paste this inside or type inside ncs dash visualizer press on enter and go inside the folder like so and then most important part actually is to download the files in the this branch so you will click on this exact link and now you will see that you have that zip file you will open it like so you can i think you can also just extract it like and click on extract and then you can see here copy the files index manifest.json etc inside the this folder so what we will need to do go to inside the downloads folder and open this extracted folder which we got from the github and let's copy all of this to the our ncs visualizer folder like so and now inside here we should have index.js manifest.json as well as style.css file which is very very important now we can go straight to our spotify client and here so what i will do here I will copy this here, go to the, I believe, PowerShell, and here we will need to paste this inside, or we can just, I believe, run it from here. So Spicedify, config, custom apps, NCS, visualizer. And right now you can see here, success, config, change, reapply Spicedify by running, Spicedify apply from the terminal, up to date, custom CSS updated. And right now you can see here that we have a new tab called NCS Visualizer, which we got from the GitHub page. We need to play a song. So I will go here to NCS and click on one random song here. And we can go to the visualizer and you can see here how right now this visualizer actually looks like. Now, these are some of the apps which you can, for example, download from the Spicedify marketplace and extensions and themes as well. Let me show you how this extension also works. So here, if I open the full screen, you can see that we have a really nice, beautiful full screen of the Spotify client here as well. And now if you would want to, for example, remove the Spicedify client, you can do that by just going to close the Spotify client. And then you can just go to the Spicedify right here, click on the uninstallation here, and then you can just click on copy this commands here and we will navigate to the PowerShell and paste this command inside. And right now, the this command should restore the Spotify client on our computer. And 
revert everything back to normal. So he, here we don't have any more our Spicetify client. So I think this is pretty much it for this exact video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure that you smash up the like button down below and also subscribe to the channel would be much, much appreciated. Thank you again for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.